Hello everyone. So if you've ever had a Tumblr or if you've ever used the app called Depop, then you've watched the movie Clueless or you've tried and we've all realized Clueless isn't actually all that entertaining to watch. We all just watch it for the outfits and boy were they fly. And also Paul Rudd and that vague incest plot they had going on. <sighs> Oh, sorry, I forgot. I was filming a video for a second there. Anyway, everyone also knows that scene where she has nothing to wear and she selects her outfit on that dope computer program. Well, that was 1995. In 2020, there are ways to do this. The future is now. I'm from the future. And I'm from the past. But you'd have to be a loser to even attempt it. And what a coinky dink. I'm a loser! So, here I am, hacking into my closet. I am not a hoarder. I am very organized. All of my clothes have their place, but somehow they end up all on my floor. All of them are on my floor now. Ah! This is Marie Kondo's book. The one that put her on the map with her hit Netflix series, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I got about a quarter of the way through it, which is a metaphor about how I'm a quarter of the way through my life and only 2.5% grown up. Ah. Now I will read to you an excerpt. Now I'll read to you an excerpt. An avid fan. Oh my god, I can't read this. Oh my god, I thought that would be funny. An avid, An avid fan, fan of Home and, and Lifestyle magazine, magazine since kindergarten. Since kindergarten. I, would I would read a feature on how to put, put things, things away, away and have, and have to, to try out each suggestion, suggestion and immediately. What a freak. I'm glad I'm not a freak like her. <gasps> um, I haven't made a video in a really long time because I've been sad. <laughs> I've been wanting to do a project like this for years, and sorting things and making lists really soothes me. So I figured this would be the best way to channel my inner need to create order within the chaos of my dysfunctional, warped sense of reality. It all started, it all started when I was 12, 12 years, old. years old. Do you remember? I couldn't decide which Aeropostale shirt to wear on my first day of 7th grade. For days over the summer, I took photos of myself wearing each shirt I owned, painstakingly selecting each one with just my computer mouse and MS Paint. I remembered the sites that gave me the JavaScript and PHP files needed to create this horrible manifestation of my own vanity. And that is how I birthed this behemoth of a web page. It loads slower than molasses and functions about as well as a cactus being used as a dildo. To my horror, I have found I have over 300 severed body parts. Items of clothing stuffed into my room and closet. What bothers me the most though is the fact that I just found this hat I didn't know I had. Look at this hat. It's so funny. It's Denim! Anyway, now I'm going to sort these clothes while I reminisce about the sweet times we shared together before I banish them to the shadow realm. AKA the goodwill. Or give them to friends. Nothing feels better than a friend getting complimented on a shirt that you let them borrow. It's like, yes, that is how it feels to be me. Isn't it great? Also, I just like seeing my clothes on someone else's body so I can just like see them out in the wild. I'm like, God, I am so fly. <laughs> I have thought about doing a Depop, but you have to have your life together to run a business like that. And I just... Um, oh yeah, story time. I told a customer about this project at my work, and you know what he asked me? He asked if I was including pictures of my underwear. You wanna know what my underwear looks like? This is my underwear! Bam! There it is! Or pensu, as they call it in Japan. Speaking of weeaboos, I got these shoes. 
when I graduated in like high school and I only got them because at the time I was watching this anime called My Love Story and I highly recommend it. Especially if you just feel alone in this world and want to live vicariously through a cute little anime girl named Yamato. Yamato. Um, yeah, but I did wear them for my sexy witch costume, and I haven't worn this since I did my sexy alien costume, and I haven't worn this skirt since my sexy sunflower costume, and then I wore this dress for not a sexy nurse costume, but a nurse joy costume most recently, and uh, Pornhub has proven me otherwise that nurse joy can be sexy, but I I'd say nine times out of ten, she is unsexy. I'll be real, showing my entire closet like this is extremely exposing. Um, my mom is going to deep fry me in shame if she sees this. But they say the first step in recovery to addiction is admitting you have a problem. But uh, in my defense, clothing is the only way that I can control my outward appearance and flex my artistic status in order to compensate for the fact I hate myself deep down and all of my imperfections that eat away at me every passing moment. See, the problem with Marie Kondo's method is that literally everything I own sparks joy, but I'm gonna do my best. These are all clothes I've collected over the past, like, I don't know, like, oh God, like seven years. So this is like seven years worth of like thrift shopping. And then of course some of it's like gifts and stuff, but I don't think it's that psycho. Like I just don't get rid of stuff. And honestly, I haven't been buying that much stuff the past year or so. So a big problem is like a lot of this stuff I used to like, but now I'm either like too fat for, which sucks, or it just gets creepy once you hit a certain age to wear like cheerleader skirts, like this thing. Love, 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 love it. This is another one of those things where you wear it and you just know you're gonna get compliments and you're like, I don't really know why. It's not like the craziest thing in the world. It's like, what is wrong with people? They're so basic. Like I'll just be walking on anywhere and someone will be like, cool jacket. And it's like, it's corduroy. I know that's exciting. It's got Sherpa, but come on. Everyone in San Francisco has a Sherpa line jacket. Like it's foggy, get over it. Oh my God, that was so mean. TV girl, the guy Brad signed that for me. Sweatiest moment of my life. <laughs> Okay, this one is like some garbage Forever 21 shirt, but I don't know why. Every time I wear it, something crazy happens to me. So it's got like the curse, but like a kind of a good curse. No, I will not elaborate. Oh my God. I just feel so warm and fuzzy looking at this stuff. It's like looking at photos of my kids. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. You're not supposed to have this many, obviously. Well, this is interesting. It says, gathering every item in one place is essential to this process because it gives you an accurate grasp of how much you have. Most people are shocked at the sheer volume, which is often at least twice what they imagined. By collecting things in one spot, you can also compare items that are similar in design, making it easier to decide whether you want to keep them. <gasps> That's what I'm doing! Oh my god. I should've written this book. No! I do not want to edit this video anymore. This is such a long, boring project and I'm so bored of it all. So this is what I do with the fruits of my labor. I plan out outfits and I look even more fly than ever humanly possible. I didn't think it was possible, but exhibit A. The proof is in the pudding. Okay, thank you. Good night.